statistics, median, quartiles, and percentiles. You will find this on page 684 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Median, quartiles and percentiles. The median divides the data into a lower half and an upper half. The lower quartile is the middle value of the lower half and the upper quartile is the middle value of the upper half. So if you look at this data, can you see there's the median? Can you see there's the lower part and there's the upper part? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, the lower quartile is the middle value of this lower half. And this is the middle value of this upper half. Okay, and the interquartile range will be if I take this value, Q3, and I subtract this value, Q1. Okay, let's look at an example. Consider the data set A is, and then they give you the values. Find the median. Find the lower and the upper quartile. Find the interquartile range of the data. Now, very important, if the data is listed in ascending order, it's easy to find the value. So make sure your data is a range from the smallest to the biggest. Now, let's count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this will be my middle and that will be my median okay now remember the lower quartile is the middle value of the lower half so this is the lower half but can you see the middle value is there so what do I do to find that spot I'm just going to take this two values 16 plus 90 and I divide it by 2 and I get 17.5 the same here to find that, I'm just going to take this values, add it up, and divide it by 2, and I will get 41. So my lower quartile is going to be 17.5, so that dot is 17.5, and my upper quartile is going to be that dot, which is 41. And if I want to find the interquartile range, I'm just going to take the upper quartile, Subtract the lower quartile and I will find 23.5. Okay, stop the video and do try now 32. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, consider the set B and then they gave you the data. Now, very important. Look if it's a range from the smallest to the biggest. Very good, it is. But let's just rewrite that values. So it's going to be 10. Um, I think I'm rather going to take another color. Um, it's going to be 10. It's going to be 14. It's going to be 15. It's going to be 22. It's going to be 27. It's going to be 36, and it's going to be 42. Okay, so if they come and they say the middle, so let's look, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So it seems to me that this is the middle, okay? So the median, what will be the median then? So the median, okay, I'm just going to go a little bit lower to give space to do a little bit drawing there. Okay, so the median is going to be that 22. Okay, remember the median is also called quartile 2. Number B, the lower quartile. Now if you look at this, there's only 3, so what will be the middle one? The middle one will be 14. There's also only 3, so what will be the middle one? 36. So if I say the lower quartile, which is Q1, that is going to be 14. And this one, the upper quartile, which is going to be Q3, and that's going to be 36. Okay. And then the interquartile range, and remember that inter. Quartile range, 
that is always going to be I take Q3 and I subtract Q1 and if I do that's 36 minus 14 and if I move this I just want to move this away and my answer is going to be 22. That will be my interquartile range.